Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 455. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got a bunch of news for you this week. It's been a while, and I'm gonna preface this by saying that a bunch of the news is season 5. Like, all of it. Like, season 5 has been rocking really hard, really, really hard. And uh, some of the news obviously are related to each other in terms of how they are structured but you know what i'm just going to go through and talk to you guys like how i usually do and see how it goes all right so let's go to the first news so first news uh, the potential generation 5 my little pony merchandise we posted yesterday has been removed from the my little pony section so what this entails is that who wrote this by the way okay sophisto uh what this entails and what sophisto wrote down before was a quote-unquote spoiler for uh, G5. Uh, they were bait sheets that were available on a website with other things and they took it down. And if we go to JF, J Fabrics website, uh, we see this. Okay, we see like uh, bait sheets and this and whatnot. And they're pretty cool. But if you know the internet, uh, it was kind of, well, um, how do I put this? Uh, taken down. Or uh, EQD, took it, <laughs> EQD took down their own posts, uh, I think, because Hasbro asked them to do it. And for me personally, I'm not going to post it up because fear of Hasbro tracing me down and whatnot. So, uh, if you go, okay, uh, here's the thing, uh, the page itself is still up, so basically this is their own fault for not taking it down. So, we got this, this is pretty cool, this is base sheets coming in September 2021, okay, that's okay, so, ooh, this is mysterious, what's going on, uh, who, who are these characters, oh, they, they look cute and whatnot, oh, uh, fanciful. So, <clears throat> Um, as we move on, we get news that um, My Little Pony Generation 5 Netflix movie revealed by Entertainment Tonight. So we have the first screenshot of the movie. So what's up with this? We got no idea. Uh, there's another post that I didn't put in because it was kind of uh, pointing stuff out. Maybe I should look for it. Who knows? But let's see, okay, um, Sophisto wrote down, uh, we are finally here. New information about the My Little Pony 5th generation Netflix movie has finally been revealed by Entertainment Tonight. We have an art style as you can see above along with a full description of what you can expect to see once it pops up on Netflix later, this, later in the year. This also confirms that the character earlier this week that have been flooding the draw friends post as this was one of them head down to okay i'm sorry okay synopsis let's see <clears throat> in the new movie the ponies the pony world of equestria has lost its magic friendship and harmony have been replaced by paranoia and mistrust and ponies now live separate by species Sunny, an, a feisty and idyllic young earth pony has convinced there is still hope for this divided world. But here, her slightly misguided and often hilarious effort to change hearts and minds have led to her being branded a misfit. Where Sunny befriends, when Sunny befriends a lost unicorn named Izzy, who wanders innocently into the Earth Pony town of Maritime, Ma <laughs> Maritime Bay, the town has, in, has, has had enough. Izzy and Sunny must embark on an epic adventure that will include a daring jewel heist, outrageous conspiracy theory, elaborate musical number, and the world's cutest flying pomeranian? Per, 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 what the hell? 
their adventures will take them to faraway lands and force them to challenge their status quo by facing their fears and making new friends out of old enemies. The world Sunny has the dream <clears throat> the world Sunny has dream of her entire life could finally become a reality as Sunny and her newfound friend fight to prove that even little ponies can make a big difference. Okay. <laughs> that, that was long, yes true, but we still we, we got that we we got the synopsis. It's pretty clear that there's a few situations there. A for Princess Twilight has screwed up. B Princess Twilight has been captured and somebody's taking over the crown and been splitting up and putting in paranoia and mistrust in ponies. Or C this has nothing to do with the ponies at all. But I say nay because um as we see in the background here, you know what? I'm going to change to the full webcam for a bit so I can look for the post. <laughs> oh my goodness, because this is a lot. This is a lot, guys. Like, G5, like, suddenly popping. Boys, that, that's a big surprise. Okay. <clears throat> I'm jumping around here, I know, but please forgive me. Okay, let's see. Uh, important no the generation five spoil. okay uh take a look see as we can see um praise the sun every uh even after twilight's leadership okay okay so uh we see celestia's cutie mark in the background okay uh let's see earth pony finds light switch uh friendly oh earth pony friendly light switch okay so that is cool uh Twilight, Fluttershy, Rainbow, Pins, uh, Possible Scout Pins. Okay, so even though uh, this is G5, it has a lot to do with or some elements of G4 is in here. Okay, let's um, go through it again. No cutie marks. Earth Pony Friendly Piano. Okay. Uh, main 6 Toys. Normal Size Twilight. Uh, Twilight Backpack, Rainbow Dash poster. So, the elements of the old show is still in here, but we got no idea. Uh, what does it mean? Is it kind of a show, or is it kind of the leadership role? Uh, like it's like a hero worship or something like that. Like uh, Twilight is the princess, and whatnot. I mean, there's a lot of things to discuss and look see. Okay, uh, I'm just going to continue on. Okay, uh, let's see what did Sophisto wrote down. <clears throat> many people have brought up just how many, how much the picture revealed last night from the Generation 5 Netflix movie. Sunny here is apparently our main character this time around. So let's, let's dive into her room in a significantly over-obsessed fan way, shall we? It's been a while. It is, it is pretty obvious she's a huge main six enthusiast. All around her room are cutie marks and posters of them. This seems to go along with what we know about her interest in bringing everybody back together. Now that the tribes are split again, how did that happen? She also has a big Celestia canvas behind her bed. Hinting that Sunblood might be worshipped still, despite the synopsis hinting that hinting that leadership has long since changed with the segregated nation. We also have quite a bit of Earth Pony friendly technology laying around, which is something I hope they really push as early in Generation Four. Ponies was always very charming with its horse struggling with manipulating objects with their mouth. Uh, it's something that was lost as the series progressed. It will be interesting to see how the Earth 
cities have adapted. Anyways, feel free to drop things, you know, this below, expect a lot of news, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> okay, so, uh, nothing much, just a simple synopsis from Seth. So, yeah, as we can see, there's a lot of things going on with the movies and whatnot, and we can just spend a full hour or more just looking and speculating and talking about this. But I am going to move on to the next one. Let's see. Okay, um, My Little Pony franchise gallops to Netflix with all new animated feature film and series. Oh. So this one is going to be long, but uh, I'm going to read what Seth wrote. No, Illustrious Q. All right. For everyone, sorry, um, for everyone predicting that the 25th was going to be the big, sorry, going to be a big news day, well, you're right. It turns out that not only is the upcoming movie debuting exclusively on Netflix, it is, in fact, the start of Generation 5 for the My Little Pony franchise. Furthermore, the Generation 5 movie isn't the only thing heading to Netflix. That's right, folks. The Generation 5 movie... Mm, the, <laughs> the Generation 5 My Little Pony TV series will also premiere worldwide on Netflix. Yay! To accompany this announcement, our friends at Hasbro provided Equestria Daily with the exclusive screenshot you are seeing heading this article, the upcoming movie, from, from, from the upcoming movie. Hasbro also sent along a spoiler-filled press release detailing the synopsis of the upcoming film, the name, uh, the name of the two brand new characters, and what has... and what has happened to the world of Equestria since Twilight since we left Twilight Sparkle and her friends. You'll be able to find all that information after the break. Hmm mm, Okay. This is long. I am contemplating it about if should I should read this. Uh, okay, let's just read about this part here. Okay, Los Angeles. Okay, Entertainment One. Hasbro Entertainment Studios announced the highly anticipated all new computer animated feature film based on the Malolo Pony franchise will premiere on Netflix later this fall. Fans can also look forward to the release of a new Malolo Pony Generation 5 series. After a decade of heartwarming friendship, daring adventures, and endless laughs, the beloved pony world of Equestria is expanding to introduce a new generation of ponies to a new generation of fans. With every more, mm, with even more humor, heart, and adventure, audience will be swept away to a contemporary and immersive pony universe brought to life like we've never seen before. Animated by Hasbro's Boulder Studios in Dublin, the new feature film is the first time the ponies will be seen in the theatrical quality, theatrical quality CG animation. The movie is directed by Rob Cullen, Cullen and Josie Uch, Uchha with Mark Fatiban Fet, Fet, as co-director. Uh, so, wow, I cannot read names. Uh, will be our, our producers. Okay, yeah. In the new movie, the pony world of Equestria has lost its magic. Lagas, friendship, and so on. Okay, we read this one for a bit. Um, let's see. We have, we have, we have, okay, big difference. Where was I? Um, Marina Bay, Epic. Flying. Okay, I, I think we more, most of it for me, yeah. The adventure, status quo, enemies. Okay, see, it's the it's the same thing. Uh, boys, the adventure of Sunny Star Scout. Okay, and her friends will continue with an all new computer animated series coming to Netflix. The My Little Pony Entertainment. Release will be accompanied with toys informed by the upcoming animation style in addition to a robust portfolio 
of licensed products across fashion, home publishing, and life cycle. So, in short, this is just another screenshot. Ooh, that's huge. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, because I didn't resize it. Okay. Still, that is huge. So, anyway, um, what's going on here is this. This is just the thing that we... Ta -da, this is what we really wanted to see. Uh, more screenshots of the movie. So, I wasted your time. I'm sorry about that. But, anywho, um, key things to point out or key things to highlight is in, uh, both TV series and movies are going to be uh, available on Netflix. We got no idea how the release are going to be. Is it the one shot thing or is it going to be a weekly thing? I know by saying that it feels strange because usually when it comes to uh, has uh, Netflix, it's always one lump sum. But who knows, they might do it a weekly thing by, okay, this is going to be uh, episode one and two are going to be um, week one and then you have to wait another week for the third episode and so on. <coughs> but since it's 3D, it, they might publish things a lot faster. So anyway, um, movies going to be on Netflix, that's awesome. TV series going to be on Netflix, that's awesome too. Not sure how this distribution is going to be. So I think I'm going to save that till the last. As we can see here, there's a Pegasi guard. And I'm also guessing there's also a Pegasi guard. And why I say that? Because, um, oh, there's no way for me to point without... Yeah. But anyway, uh, if you take a look, see at the blue male pony. I'm guessing male. Uh, if you can see at the part... There, wow, this is really awkward without me turning on the cursor. I wonder if I can do that ah, live on stream. Um, yeah, fixing things live. Yep, 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 yep. You know what? I'm going to give up on this shenanigans. Yes. So, anywho, if you take a look, see at his um, right side, you can see a bit of wings. So, that's what I mean. Yeah, I can zoom in. Yeah, here. You know what I mean. <laughs> so anywho, um, this is interesting. We got no idea what caught them there. Uh, Izzy. Izzy? 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 Izzy's the name? Izzy? I think her name is Izzy. If I'm wrong, you guys correct me. But anywho, uh, we see Izzy here has a tennis ball. Plunge. Uh, step right through her head. And you might be wondering, why? Why would they do that? And is Izzy some kind of clumsy pony and if you really think about it and how the world is it could be one of their safety features so that Izzy doesn't poke an eye out probably that's my prediction so anywho let's move on to the next one okay new main a uh, new male main cast pony reveal for the for generation 5 movie plus animation look at the ponies so, we have a male character now. Ooh, that's cool. What is your name, Mr. Male Character Person You? Funny enough, we got this here. His name is Hitch. Hitch Trailblazer. An Earth, a male Earth Pony. Judging by the badge here, he could be a police or sheriff or something like that. So, where was I? Okay. So... They have a video up on the YouTubes, but I'm not going to play it. You can do it yourself. And over here, this is on their official uh, Facebook, Instagram, so like that, which you also can uh, check out for yourself. So one of my few wishes has came true, having a male lead in the main role. So that's always good. But I wish it had been other more characters because, okay, assuming that we're operating by the main six or six character mantra, because what uh, previously we had a balance of two to two, 
And then, as time goes on, we had the student six. The student six was um, six different creatures, if I remember right. Uh, pony, changeling, dragon, hippogriff, yak, and griffin. So we had six different style of characters, and we had two males. So that's good. Diversity and stuff. Um, for this one, what we've seen so far is... We got three female characters, one of each, and a male earth pony. So we have two earth ponies, one pegasi, one unicorn, uh, and one male lead or one male in the group. So that's good. There's some diversity in the show to have some interesting storytelling. <clears throat> so besides that, um, let's see. Okay, with new series, new toys... Um, let's just see how the toys look like. From what we can tell, it's pretty okay. It's pretty okay. Um, the the shape and the looks of it are different. That looks terrible. The what you call this? The opposable thing that looks terrible. Uh, we got some merchandising shoes, clothes, and so on. Those those are normal. Those are normal. Yeah, so uh, this one here, I got. Mm, it's really interesting to see how the shape of the pony looks like now uh, compared to how they look like before. But I do understand new molding and new stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's really interesting. Uh, at least the opposable ones are okay, I guess. So we have to wait and see how the toys looks like further on. And last but not least, names. Yes, names of the ponies. Uh, Sunny Scout and Easy Moon. Don't forget uh, Hitch Trailblazer. So, yeah. That's about it. That's about it. Okay, so who's the Sifisto? Okay, you know what? I'm going to end this here because things are just going to go down. All right. So, what have we seen so far? All right. So far, we've seen that the Generation 5 Model Pony movie is going to be in uh, computer animated graphics. So, this is not a bad thing because... Con Computer animated graphics or CG has improved quite a lot. And CG movies are okay nowadays. So I have. I won't set my expectations too high. I'll just set it to a nice medium. And I can understand why. And the reason why is that they're. they're getting. Sorry, uh, it's much easier once the models are done and once everything's created because once you get the rigging right or you get once you get the rigging done, all you have to do is just pose them, move them, put in stuff. Okay, granted, there's a lot of things that are hard, but it's much easier than redrawing them scene after scene after scene and this is why um, cartoon companies or entertainment companies love 3D because it's much easier and here's the, here's another thing uh, what they're doing what Boulder Media's are doing is after the movie's done and going to the TV series whatever they use for the movie they can just use back in the cartoon but we got no idea how the quality is a good example of this is uh, the Lego Ninjago movie uh, in the movie there's a huge budget where the animation quality is better the animation quality is um, huge and the model themselves have well looks like real Lego once we get into the TV series, which are five seasons deep, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the Lego themselves don't look any different from any other Lego 
series. Granted that they don't 100% look like the TV, sorry, the movie, because uh, if you take a look, see at the movie, uh, you, you remember how Lego has holes at the back of their legs so they can uh, sit, prop them down or whatever it is. Also, with the bottom of the leg, you can see uh, pegs so they can s put them in stands, whatever it is. Uh, in the Ninjago series, they are not there. And you have to wonder, why is that? Blah, blah, blah. Doesn't really matter because uh, it could be that they were using other assets from before and just recoloring them. So this is what I mean by them having an easier time going from uh, movies, uh, movie to series. And I'm not surprised if Season 2 is going to come out faster than how it is nowadays. Granted, you still have other things to consider. Voice acting, music, and so on. There's a lot more to it than what I'm just saying. Uh, what I'm just saying here is just how I would interpret it. Sorry, how I would interpret them using computer graphics instead of traditional 2D or Flash. So, that's my views on that. So anyway, I'm just going to wrap things up. Uh, what happened with my weekend? Um, it's nothing, it's a bit boring. More Magic the Gathering. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to wrap things up. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at imbsgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. You can also read us, uh, also please read us on also please rate us and uh, also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes YouTube don't forget to press the bell icon and uh, to stay up to date and stay to radio and also like our Facebook page you can also catch us on pointlife.com links are in the show notes if you would like to support you no know, uh, if also please do subscribe to the review and discussion podcast on iTunes and also Stitcher radio over there you can catch me Totera sorry me and Totera reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, and TV series. Now that season 5 is coming along, we will review that one. The movies and series and all. So that's going to be very, very interesting. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Master of Like, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the Mirror Show. See ya!